Today, Jonas is finally going to admit to all of his problems he has. <laughs> I don't have a problem. Yes, maybe I do. We'll see if I admit to it. Guys, we were going to show you all the projects that I have, airplane projects. I have six, and uh, not one of them is flying. Well, that's one actually is flying, so one's flying, but it's not. It, it needs a few things to it, so we're going to get into it. I thought this would be a good video just to show you everything that we have and what it needs, and yeah, that would be interesting to show all the six airplanes that I have. Projects. Some are more finished than the others. We're gonna start off with Defiance because you guys have asked so much. What about Defiance? Where's Defiance? Have you done anything with Defiance? No, I haven't. I haven't. I, I, it's crazy thinking back to the time I was like, I'm gonna have this done in six months. And that was like three years ago. Mm -hmm. The time when I was like, I'm gonna go see Sylvia in Portugal. Basically, after that, it just stalled. <laughs> Said I would not shave till I got this done. So, feels good to be at this point. I am now going to take Defiance out of its cage. We're gonna do that right now. We're gonna do a little magic, because Wilson loves magic. Don't you, Wilson? He does. We're gonna do a one, a two, and a two, Wilson. Every freaking day, man. Take a quick pause, say thank you to today's sponsor. Did you know two out of three guys will experience hair loss by the time they're 35? That's why I got this wig. Turns out, don't need it. You, you won't need it either, because Keeps has us covered. Keeps is an online subscription service that helps men keep their hair on their head. Keeps offers clinically proven treatments to combat the symptoms of their hair loss. <laughs> treatments are delivered straight to your door so you don't have to go to the doctor or pharmacy. All treatment plans are personalized and recommended by a licensed medical provider. Most Keeps customers notice results within six months of starting the treatment. Each treatment plan comes with a full year of unlimited massaging. Mm -hmm. Wait, I mean unlimited messaging so you can connect with your provider at any time. Whether you're looking to prevent hair loss, stimulate hair growth, or just take better care of the hair you have, Keeps has you covered. Guys, go check them out. They have an amazing offer deal for my viewers. You can get 50% off your first order, so go to keeps.com slash Jonas Marcinko, or click the link in the description. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Jonas Marcinko. Thank you, Keeps, for uh, sponsoring this hair, and keeping my hair on my head. Anyways, we'll talk about it uh, a little bit. Obviously, you guys have seen I got the landing gear done. Uh, we got the engine mount done. Uh, the engine is gonna be coming out of the snowmobile. This is a Yamaha Apex. This is basically the engine that Steve Henry uses in his Highlander. He turbos it and he can get over 300 horsepower. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. We'll see once I gotta get back on the project and finish some other stuff before we go there. So there it is, Defiance. It's sad that it, this is where it sits. I don't know if I'm gonna be on, moving on to this before the Rans S7. I might, we'll see. Who knows, who knows when who you're knows? gonna get to To the that. next one. And now to the Capella. I have changed the spar. I will show some of that when I do the video on the Capella. And you put the skin on and then I'll go to the next wing on the Capella, get that fixed, yada yada. First though, before I do the Capella, I'm gonna finish the air bike. So air bike will actually be the next thing that gets finished. When I got the air bike, I thought the air bike was gonna be a two week project. Yeah, it wasn't, it was like uh, three months, four months. It well, never is. Yeah, yeah. But show Capella how well, it is in the uh, state now. Okay, so Capella wing. There's yeah. one wing. You guys have seen this wing is Another wing. still damaged. Uh, so there that, I still got a little bit to do inside there. Let's go, let's go see the airplane that no one has ever seen actually, the project. And I don't, it's pretty dark in there, but uh, it's called a KR2. It's a, these are the wings actually to it. A little short stubby, it's a low wing, fast airplane that goes on 100 horse. I think it cruises like 160 on 100 horsepower. I was gonna put a Rotax on it. 
Never got to it. This is actually gonna be for sale if someone's interested. This is the one I am going to sell for, I'd do 1500 if someone's interested. Let's see if we can see anything and it's dark. I might just show you pictures. We'll buy a sew up. Oh, that's better. There it is. There it is. So it's uh, wood and composite. Actually a really great airplane. Um, I was excited to finish it and get it going, but uh, Look at I just, that, look at that. And it's got a nice... That tail. Oh, I think it's, I can't move that. But yeah, it's a, it's a little short, stubby, quick airplane. I would sell it for 1500. It comes with basically everything except the engine. Um, there's right. stuff in there. Oh, look at that. Uh, Oh, looks fuel tank up up in front of the dash. Um, yeah. So I probably won't finish this ever. This, ever. This is for sale. Please <laughs> get it out of here. This please, someone sale. buy it. Please. Okay, on to the air bike. Give me the status on that. It's a complete mess. Um, but you can see it. I got, I'm just working on the brake system. I'm trying to put uh, disc brakes from mountain bikes on there. So we'll see. I've been filming. I'll show you the whole process of that when it's all said and go, but I just want to get this out of here and then I can work on the Capella. So, and I got to build a door for the hangar at the house. So that's actually the next project and then this one. We'll, yeah, we'll see. A lot of stuff going on. There it is. All in its glory. All right, let's go see the glass air. And I'll talk about that and the damages that have happened to that. And uh, it's quite interesting story, but let's go over and check okay. it out. It's going to be fun. Oh. Another project. I need to put a little awning right here. <laughs> True. Okay, so the glass air I bought, oh, it's been a while, maybe four years ago or so. <laughs> Way more. I more? met you five years ago. You already had glass air. That's so crazy. Time flies. Okay, maybe six. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is a wonderful plane. I flew it to Oshkosh, not all the way to Oshkosh, uh, Verokwa. Wisconsin and then I went in the rest of the way with my uncle and his RV. wonderful airplane it cruises like 180 200 miles an hour depends on how you are with the throttle i've flown it to the very my first high sierra desert fly-in uh, i flew it down to california i flew it to burning man actually And that's where the incident happened and i was taxiing out and they burning man they have like uh I don't know, they make their own airport out and they just jam in these uh, signs for the taxiway uh, T-post and I didn't see it taxiing out. Big jet flew in, caused all sorts of dust, so I was like, oh, I'm going to taxi out to the right a little bit. It's just a massive playa and I freaking ran into a T-post. You can't see anything when you're in the cockpit of this thing and I hit that T-post and the T-post went through the wing and which is the fuel tank. So I, I was like, what the heck did I hit? I got out and there's just fuel dumping all over. And I was like, holy crap. Um, so pushing it back, they came out. So what's going on? I was like, ah, I hit that T-post. got a little bit of fuel leak and they, they freaked out. Got the big old bulldozer, not the bulldozer, but the um, backhoe. Had to dig the dirt out because it contaminated the dirt and they had to load it up and take it off. I don't know. It was a big ordeal. Anyways, I'm out there with a 
hole, <laughs> a giant hole through my wing. And I can't go anywhere. So I met up with a friend who worked on composite uh, wind turbines and he said, I think we can patch it here. So we scrambled all through Burning Man looking for some epoxy. And we found some five minute epoxy, a piece of aluminum, and I went to town fixing the repair out there in the desert. Okay. Here we are, we're just watching and he's doing all the work. That's how we fix airplanes out here. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. It held and I was able to fly uh, back to, uh, back here. And ever since then I haven't flown it. So <laughs> it, it sits here, I need to do a proper repair on it even though that patch actually I mean, it held and it's still holding. I've never seen the patch. Right there. That's it. You can see the piece of aluminum. The patch was right there. And then we extra double 100 mile an hour taped it. So <laughs> <laughs> that was quite the ordeal. But she is a wonderful flying airplane. Bit squirrely, you need to know what you're doing. The guy that I bought it from was a Reno Air Race pilot. And when he brought it here, he said, you sure you know how to do tail? I was like, well, that's all I've done. And he's like, all right, well, let's go up. And I went up and I kind of like could feel him on the pedals. It wasn't touching him, but I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm on top of it. I think I can do it. And, but it is tough. Short couple, this is a Glass Air 1 TD. So this is one of the first models with the smaller uh, vertical stabilizer. It's got a uh, rebuilt engine, only I think 85 hours on it. I wish it was going. I mean, it is going, it's flying, but I need to get an annual on it and do some things. So this is the other project that sits here, sadly. Yeah. It is for sale. Yeah, um, look at that prop. So. Let's show this beauty. If anyone is interested in the glass air, let us know it's, uh, it is for sale, or I don't know the price. I, I think uh, right now I would uh, 20, 28K, I'd be around there. I don't know. With the work, maybe we could work, go down a little bit. But anyways. Oh, for some reason I thought it was a one-seater. What? Really? Yeah. No, we can cruise to California in this, babe. No, I don't think so. You want to? Oh, it does have a, a gas leak on a service bulletin on where the wing attaches to so that's the other thing reason why I haven't flown it I have to actually pull the wing off and repair it there's instructions to do it all but it's a common thing on these so that that is that the rants that you guys have all seen yeah we'll get to it <laughs> one of these days eventually a lot of projects. I'm trying to get that door done at the hangar um, just got a car for Sylvia that we're trying to fix up for the baby and so on and so forth. So hope you guys enjoyed the, the tour of all my six airplane projects. It's just crazy to think of. Yeah, if you guys want to follow along, hit that like, hit the subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. I have this jet and I've tried throwing it off and I've wrecked it so many times because trying to throw it, it just, I don't know, it just go, it, it doesn't work. Either, I think it goes straight up if you don't throw it right and down. So I built, quickly built this contraption. We're usually, seriously using rubber bands. And, oh my gosh. Uh, I stuck a nail in the bottom of that. Could work, could not work. Like, oh, dang it. What did it do? Yeah. I think, I think it you cut, cut the rubber band. The rubber band. Oh no. Oh, I ripped it. That's that's about it. Okay, here we go. No! <laughs> that was so pathetic. <laughs> Did you give it? Uh, were you giving it any up elevator? I, I didn't give it any up that elevator. Let's try it again. <laughs> well, you tell me. You ready? Here we go. <laughs> All right, too much ele up elevator. I actually think it might go.
<laughs> that was great. Oh, epic fail. We need a bigger rubber band. <laughs> Yeah, that road band is way. <laughs> <laughs> was it cool? Mm-hmm. That was so cool, huh? Oh shit, pond. <laughs> shit pond. <laughs> Did it get into the pond? No. Oh, really right close, there. So. <laughs> it's okay. So close. <laughs> it's okay, though. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that thing is awesome. <laughs> that was flying.